Today we are talking about the 100k marketing secrets that every music producer should be using. And yeah, this is only like $200 worth of fake money. I don't have 100,000 of it, but just play along. And let's keep it real. Up to watching this video, you've heard all of the basic advice before. I'm talking about the good old classic, be consistent, post on social media. Wow, what a tip. Or my personal favorite, you DM over 500 producers saying, collab bro? But good news for you though, because in today's video, we are gonna break down some marketing secrets from the Heat Agency playbook. So let's do it. By the way, if you're interested in working with the Heat Agency, go ahead and shoot us a DM on Instagram and we can talk more. Okay, so let's be real, right? We know the basic tips like posting on social media, but the goal should be to get them off of social media. And let me explain. Marketing is just simply a funnel. And in order to get them someplace where they can buy your products, you first need to get their attention, which is step one in the funnel, and this oftentimes is just social media. But then you need to direct them to somewhere like your website, which would then be step two in the funnel. And we'll come back to this whole concept of a funnel later on, so don't forget about this concept. But there's one thing I wanna to stress to you guys. This is a basic concept that applies for every single producer. Whether you just started and have 10 followers or you have 10,000, these are just the basics behind marketing. And I brought it up in this video because we have talked to a good amount of creators who get eyeballs, but they struggle to actually do something with that attention. And that's a painful experience because social media growth in the first place is not easy. I'm sure we all know how hard it is just to grow. So you shouldn't only be planning to grow on social media, but you should also plan on what to do with the eyeballs or any eyeballs that you are getting in the first place. Because the last thing you wanna do is have a ton of views and rely on AdSense, but not be making any good money from actual digital products or anything else. Which brings us to marketing playbook number two, having your own website. It is now 2024, and if you do not have a website, you are behind. And this is why, when you funnel traffic from social media to your website, you're bringing them into your home turf, right? You control the narrative, the branding, everything about the experience. Just think about it for one second. On social media, you're just one of many, fighting for all of the attention in such a crowded place. But on your website, you are the only thing that matters. And let's talk about perception too. A nicely designed professional website instantly boosts your credibility. Now, I hear what some of you might be thinking, but building a website sounds complicated. Honestly, not anymore. With tools like WordPress and Shopify and watching a few YouTube videos, a basic website can be done in just a few days. And if you're not the do-it-yourself type, investing in a web designer is worth it if you do have the budget. For example, look at what we did with Hologram. Here is the before of their website before we worked with them. And then here is the redesign we did of their website, which way more hits on that point of brand and their perception and their overall credibility and a big major focus of their design aspect. Okay, now moving on to the big player in our playbook, email marketing. This is honest to God what I spend about 80% of my working time doing for the agency. So if you have made it this far, please believe me when I tell you that email marketing is a money printer. But before we get into those tips, let me share a quick story with you. This Christmas, I woke up to a text from Jay Cactus that his Instagram had been removed. So just like that, the ability to post for almost 50,000 followers were now gone. To give you reference, here is a photo of what 50,000 people had looked like and they had all just now disappeared. And to make it all a little bit worse, we had just launched a Christmas sale three days before his Instagram had gotten removed. But it actually wasn't even a Affected and the Christmas sale ended up doing great, but how? Well, because Jay had spent the first few years building up his email list, making YouTube content that sent people to his website for free items. And over the years, he had built a list over 100,000 producers. And we've been working with Jay for almost a year now, so that list was well engaged too. So we had a huge list of producers that we could reach within one click of a button to send an email to, and the Instagram wasn't really an issue. But let me go a bit deeper here on how we actually use it. Well, number 
one, you need to get people on it. Once someone goes to your website, there should be what's known as a lead magnet. This is a free item you give people in exchange for their email. Think of something like free beats or a free sample pack or even a coupon. And then from there on, you can now send those people whatever kind of emails you wanna do. This could be the one-off campaigns you send to push products or announcements, or this could be done with email flows that are based off certain events like someone signed up for your free lead magnet and now you want to pitch them a limited time offer. So by now you're probably wondering, well, how do I even learn all of this stuff or know what to do or just know the ins and outs of any of this? And the best part is, is that it's all in plain sight, which is playbook tip number four, look at what other companies are doing. Something that I'm always doing whenever I go to any company's website is looking at how they are marketing towards me. What lead magnets do they have? What does their website push in terms of offers and the design, right? What are they focusing the attention on? And also what are they sending me in their emails? You have to remember, as long as you're not looking at like mom and pop companies, these are million dollar companies who invest into the best marketing teams. So if you just take some time and just study their strategy, there are a lot of ideas and kind of things you can pick up on and learn for yourself. And also if you're not sure for what to look for, go read some marketing books, learn the fundamentals, and then I guarantee you once you come back and look at things, you'll look at them completely different. For instance, just for an example, look at this website pop-up. They are gathering data about what pet I have. They are doing this so they can send me personalized offers in their future emails about what type of pet I have. If I have a dog and I see an email about 25% off cat food, I don't care. But if it's about dogs, I do. Or maybe when they do a Black Friday sale, they'll send me an email about 70% off dog toys. And here's something funny, I guarantee you that what they'll do is they'll copy and paste that same exact email, but they'll replace dog with cat and then send it to all the cat people. And a great example of this is with Robin Sight, the founder of Heat. In his lead magnet for free beats, he asked what kind of artist they are and some other questions as well. This is then used to personalize emails and sales campaigns and also offer deals. And this is something that we have done all of the time based off data like that or even previous purchase data with Shopify stores. An example for this is with Hologram's holiday sale. We sent an email only to people who have purchased drums before to let them know that all drums are now 50% off. They purchased drums before, so they probably wanna get more drums because they like drums. For Sawsquare's Black Friday, we sent an email out to all Scorch customers who didn't have these Scorch expansion packs, letting them know that they could buy the expansion packs for 50% off. And so these concepts are not the concepts that we invented. We're just translating the concepts to fit for our clients and for their products. And it's something you can do exactly for yourself if you gain some marketing knowledge. Now, if you wanna learn more about different marketing techniques you can do to sell beats or sell sample kits, you definitely wanna watch this video right now.